Hello everyone, hope everyone's well. Today's video is going to be about my, about my Dango wallet or wallets. Um, I'm simply uploading this video because um, I'm a big fan of minimalist slim wallets. Um, I'm not being paid um, or was not asked in any, in any way shape or form to do this video for Dango. I'm simply doing it because I am an enthusiast and would like to have people jump on board with this fine product. Um, in this video, I will simply be just addressing the wallet itself, how I came across it, um, the specs, and my overall opinion on this actual wallet. So it was roughly a few months ago, I was surfing through YouTube, and I found a, a YouTube video on um, slim, futuristic wallets, and in one of the categories, they had the dangos. And I was hooked for a number of reasons, which I will illustrate clearly in this video. Um, what you see in front of you is um, on the left the jet black, um, uh, all black uh, multi tool dango, and then you have on the right is the raw, um, untreated leather um, brown dango um, tactical as well. They also had two damper ones, which was a black and a whiskey brown. However, I chose to go with the tactical series because of just um, the pure functionality and, in my opinion, the coolness of it. Um, so to begin, I'll just pretty much give you the, the background and the specs of the wallet itself, or the wallets. Um, these wallets are handcrafted in the United States and California. Um, they're designed to pretty much hold up to around 12 cards, that includes business and credit cards. And in the back of the wallets, this sheet right here acts as a aluminium um, RFID blocking um, defense against people trying to hack your credit cards and other personal information. Um, the wallet itself is made from a 6061 aerial space grade CNC aluminium. Um, it roughly weighs around 2 ounces, making it very light, especially in your pocket. Um, it comes with an actual built-in bottle opener on each end of the actual wallet itself without the multi-tool. Um, it's made from top grain leather um, and if the wallet is stacked in with about six cards per se um, it would roughly be a thickness of uh, 0 0.3 inches um, the other really cool thing about the wallet which um, is why I said I bought it is because of the multi-tool which is this thing right here now uh, this guy is just like how you saw is removable um, it's a heat treated CNC um, high carbon stainless steel uh, multi-tool which um, Denga provides you uh, it has roughly around 10 to 14 functions just roughly top of my head um, the knife, the saw, um, uh, the ruler, uh, the bottle opener, uh, screwdrivers, phone stand um, pretty much all the kind of things a person would need on a general basis and on a for example, outdoorsman type kind of person. Um, roughly now, I'll just um, demonstrate how the wallet works itself um, and what it looks like when it's stacked up with card. And I'll just give the, the ins and outs. So I'll just do it with the jet black. I'll just put the brown one on the side for now. Um, in terms of putting in the actual multi-tool itself, very simple. Lift up from here, slot down lift up and just gently push through until you hear it lock and then it's complete, completely secure um, I'm not a very heavy card user myself I tend to have about I think about seven to eight cards in total um, what I tend to do is put the big bulk of my cards in the first slot of the wallet so with a multi-tool rest so, as I demonstrated before, lift out, getting a good reach on that. Shove the cards in. I usually shove them all at once. Make sure it doesn't collide with the inner region of the actual multi-tool. So, what you would pretty much do in this particular situation is move out a little bit and push down gently. And the cards rest. Um, probably one concern people are having or would have would be with this wallet is the fact that the knife is sitting on the bottom part of the actual wallet itself. Um, I'll demonstrate how um, safe the knife is there, especially even though you've got your fingers there. Um, I haven't had any problems with this knife. Um, 
hurting me in any way, shape, or form, and I'll demonstrate that later. Um, the other part of the wallet from this side here where the, where the leather um, component is, you have a second pouch to pretty much put either more cards. And that's pretty much the Dango fully loaded with about eight to seven cards. Um, also forgot to mention is you have this silicon um, strap which pretty much acts as the holder for the actual wallet itself and um, as a money clip as well for your banknotes. Um, I'll demonstrate how the money sits in the wallet. Um, with Australian money, I'm not a really big fan of folding money like so. I found a lot of minimalist wallets that I have when I fold the money like this and obviously shove it in and pull it back out, it's all scrambled. Obviously making it very hard to put into bank machines and, and, and you know paying for car tickets and stuff like that. So it becomes really hard to put in machines and stuff and it becomes really annoying. But with the with the with the dang I haven't had a problem with that, which is really good. So how I carry my money in this in this particular wallet is pretty much in that spare pouch that you have. I just shove it in from here. Try it in a couple of times and it's completely secure. And that's how the wallet looks like, fully loaded with banknotes and with credit cards um, and other cards. Um, in terms of how reliable this band is, I'll just do a quick test for you. Completely secure, completely safe, even with the multi-tool in there, everything's sitting nice, nice and good. No dramas, nothing's fallen out. The cool thing about the lanyard is the fact that once you put this puppy in your pocket, this makes it really easy to pull it out and also makes it pretty effective in terms of putting a carabiner on it. So I was today, I mean I hoisted it in from here. Lock it in. And then I can attach it to either my pants, my bag, whatever, whatever you want to attach it on. So that's the other really effective thing about the lanyard. Um now I'd like to show you how the multi-tool works and just the, the queries and you know any concerns you might have on the multi-tool itself. So before I do that actually, just in terms of how to take out the cards, very simple from this end. I from this gap gapping right here, I tend to just push up, rifle through the cards themselves, and just pick whatever I want and then pull them in or pull them out, whatever you want to do. So there's no dramas in terms of pulling out the cards. Moving that to the side, and now demonstrating probably the most interesting feature of the actual wallet is the multi-tool. Now, in terms of how to deploy the multi-tool, it's very simple and very effective in the way they've designed it. As you can see, it's completely secure, and you have a task that you would like to do, and obviously you need to deploy the multi-tool. Very simply what you do is you lift up from this end, I like to call it the blunt end, so obviously your fingers aren't going to be cut or hurt anyway. Lift up, push and pull and they lock on these two bars almost acting like, almost acting like a locking mechanism. And there once again it's completely secure and you have access to the knife and the saw and other parts of the actual multi-tool itself. Now even if you're using it like this and you're obviously doing some sort of a task and you need more more grip on the actual tool itself what you can do is they have a second locking, which pretty much is very easy to deploy. Once again, you lift up, push, and it locks in like so. And now you have at least a bit of grip on it in terms of sawing or cutting or whatever. Um, in terms of taking it out, very simple. Um, lift up again, and the wallet, and the sorry, and the multi tool comes out. And like I said, you can obviously use the multi tool with you, as in carry it in the wallet. If not, take it out and use the wallet itself. So it works. It works in both. It works in both worlds. Um, in terms of putting it back in, very simple. Lift out like so. Lift out as much as you can. Put the wallet in equally. To put the sorry, the multi tool in equally. Here the click. I like you in the click. Gives you a bit of that satisfaction. It's in. Lift up. Drop. 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 And you hear the click again, and it's locked in. Um, 
the knife itself, I mean, I'm putting pressure as much as I can on the saw and on every part of the actual multi-tool from the top part and nothing, even the actual knife itself, which is right here, putting pressure on that and no dramas there. I mean, obviously, without being reckless and stupid and whatnot, you're, you're not going to be able to um, hurt or cut yourself with this knife. So it's completely safe, even when it's inside the actual wallet itself. Um, it's completely out of out of your fingers way, and um, even this guy here, same thing. You just you got to be careful with what you're doing. Uh, if you're going to be hacking and throttling at all, like I am right now, you're obviously going to hurt yourself. But what I tend to do when I carry the wallet inside my pocket, um, I carry it in this angle, so it's obviously facing towards that way, not that way. Obviously hurting private parts. Um, this part here also acts as a bottle opener. Um, this part here also acts as a bottle opener. Um, there's, I think uh, this part of the wallet over here acts almost as a glass breaker. So even without the multi-tool itself, the, the wallet is multifunctional. Um, probably the only really, th I wouldn't say bad thing uh, about the wallet is in terms of the silicon band, um, because I, like, I usually carry big loads of um, of money, um, it's kind of I find it a little bit hard to kind of put my fingers through there and try to grab the silicon band to lift up to put the money in. I would have preferred maybe like a little um, extension through it to obviously lift up and um, uh, insert your bills or, or whatnot. But no dramas there. Um, I've had the wallet now probably about a couple of days. I mean I can't stop using it. I can't stop saying good things about it. Everyone that's seen it is loving it. Um, it's cool, it's unique, it's, it's really sexy. Um, what does it mean overall, you owning a Dango wallet? I think end of the day, you're the kind of person that likes things that last. You're the kind of person that likes things that obviously has different purposes and it's going to you know, be effective for you in every task that you're going to do during the day. And really it just shows that you're a cool motherfucker. And um, yeah, that's my video on the Dangos. Um, Hope you enjoyed. Um, what I like to do is pretty much put a link on the bottom of the video. So um, if you guys like it, check it out. Give the guys a heads up. Um, they're doing really well. And um, hopefully we should see more products from them in the near future. So all the best, guys. Thanks.